Hi students, good morning everybody. So in this video, we are going to see our second poem, Confessions of a Born Spectator. So the author of this poem is Ogden Nash. So before getting into the poem, let us see about the author Ogden Nash. Let us see about the author. Frederick Ogden Nash, August 19, 1902 to May 19, 1971 was an American poet well known for his light verse of which he wrote over 500 pieces. With his unconventional rhyming schemes, he, has declared, he was declared the country's best known producer of humorous poetry. His light was even earned him a place on a postage stamp. Okay, so let us see about the author in detail. So Frederick Ogden Nash, born in August 19, 1902 and was died on May 19, 1971. So he was an American poet. He belongs to America. Well known for his light verse. So what is mean by light verse is so generally in general verse means so writing arranged in the lines which have a rhythmic order that is called as verse in general so what is the meaning of a light verse is so light verse means it is a poem it is a poetry that is written to entertain others okay so it may be humorous or it may contain some entertainment it is, which is written to entertain others that is called as light verse so he had written over 500 pieces in light verse with his unconventional unconventional means unusual okay this unconventional rhyme schemes he was declared the country's best known producer of humorous stories so frederick ogden nash was the best known producer best producer of humorous poetry his light verse even earned him a place on a postage stamp so he earned him a place on a postage stamp means in the stamp his picture was there okay so it had earned him a place even in the postage stamp okay now let us get into the poem confessions of a born spectator so what is mean by the title is so spectator means viewer okay so spectator means viewer okay or audience viewer that is called a spectator confessions means accepting okay so uh, what are the things that the a spectator is uh, accepting okay that is the meaning of this poem so he was a born spectator born spectator means he was just born to view everything he doesn't want to participate in anything and he is accepting this himself okay so you can clearly understand the title of the poem at the end of the poem right let us go to the warm up part not everybody loves to play and participate in games sports and other extracurricular activities some of us wish to be mere spectators list out the activities in which you like to be either a performer or a spectator share your views with the class so not everybody loves to play and participate in games sports and other extracurricular activities okay so everybody doesn't have interest in sports games or other extracurricular act someone may be interested in sports someone may be interested in studies someone may be interested in research okay so like that each one has different views goals okay some of us wish to be mere spectators okay while some persons are very much interested in participating in games sports and other extracurricular activities Okay, so some of us there might be uh, students or some persons who wish to be mere spectators just to be an audience. Okay, to sit and enjoy the program. Okay, so some wish to be mere. Mere means here just. Okay, so just the spectators. 
list out the activities in which you like to be either a performer or a spectator share your views with the class see here an activity is given for you so performer or player spectator or audience okay so listen there is difference between spectator and audience so likewise there is difference between performer and player so let me tell you what is the difference between performer and the player okay so a performer is one who performs for the audience a player is one who plays okay one who uh, plays and plays he is called as player performer is one who is performing to entertain the audience okay that is the difference between performer and player so what is the difference between spectator and audience is audience means okay audience means audio the word audio is hidden inside so what is the difference between <coughs> audience and spectator is when you watch the uh, show in the television when you watch a match or a show in the television you are an audience at the same time when you go to the spot when you go to the playground <coughs> when you go to the spot when and when you watch the match or um, whatever it is you are a spectator okay director nama poi ground la or match paakrona you are a spectator okay suppose if you are watching it in the television you are a you are an audience this is the difference between spectator and audience and performance and performer and player so list out the activities in which you like to be a performer or player spectator or audience see one is given example here cricket is given here magician is given so like that you can fill the remaining dashes and that you, and then you can send it to me so that i too can have a look at it right and um, here is a poem by ogden nash who believes that a spectator can be as enthusiastic as a player now let us read and enjoy the poem confessions of a born spectator okay so here a poem is given by ogden nash what is it confessions of a born spectator so in this poem we can see a person who believes that a spectator can be as enthusiastic enthusiastic means as interested okay can be as enthusiastic as a player here we can see a spectator so who is a spectator one who is watching the match in the directly in the playground is a spectator okay so here is a poem given by ogden nash who believes that who here refers to ogden nash okay so ogden nash believes that a spectator can be as enthusiastic as a player so or player or ground la or match velayadum bodu evlo enthuva irupaangalo okay a spectator can be also as enthusiastic as a player so that's what ogden nash is insisting in this poem now let us read and enjoy the poem confessions of a born spectator okay so this poem consists of how many stanza it totally consists of six stanza now in this video we are going to see stanza 1 2 and 3 and in the next video let us see 4 5 and 6 right okay let us see the first stanza on infant grows up and becomes a jockey another plays basketball ho or hockey this when the prize ring heads to enter that one becomes a tackle or center i am just glad as glad can be that i am not them that they are not me okay so this is the first stanza let me explain you so let us see the first line one infant grows up and becomes a hockey so what is mean by infant so infant means a small child okay so one child grows up so after growing up 
he becomes a jockey so jockey means a horse rider okay jockey means a horse rider another plays basketball or hockey so another means one more child okay so the second child or another child one more child after he is growing up he becomes to uh, he likes to become a basketball player or a hockey player this when the prize ring hates to enter and some other child okay he hate, hates to enter the prize ring so what is mean by prize ring means the enclosed area in which boxing matches are fought so what is mean by prize ring the enclosed area in which the boxing matches are fought so one child after he is growing up he hates hates means he doesn't like to enter into the prize ring that is the enclosed area of a boxing ring that one becomes a tackle or center okay so tackle means it is a position in a football match okay so that one becomes a tackle so uh, what is tackle one who tackles the ball from the opponent so opponent podra ball taduthu niruthuvaanga le that is called as tackle position okay a uh, center okay so uh, this is also the playing positions in the football match so that one becomes a tackle or center i am but myself i am refers to the poet ogden nash i am just glad glad means happy so i am happy as glad can be okay so i am very happy that i am not them so here them refers to whom them refers to the players and they are not me so again they refers to the players i am i am refer i refers to the poet and also here me refers to the poet okay so the poet is very happy that he is not them so he cannot become like a player and they are not mine sorry they are not me okay and the player cannot become like a spectator so here the poet is just a spectator okay so the poet is very happy that definitely he cannot become a player that is the spectator cannot become a player and they are not me that is the um, player cannot become a spectator okay so this is about the stanza 1 so one infant grows up so one child he grows up and becomes a horse rider and another child grows and after growing up he becomes a basketball player or a hockey player one child hates to enter into the prize ring which means the enclosed area in a boxing match so this line speaks about the boxing match and that one becomes a tackle or center okay so and one more child becomes a tackle that is tackle or center it is the position in a football match okay so and so in first line they are talking about horse riding in the second line they are speaking about basketball or hockey and in the third line they are discussing about um, boxing and the fourth line says about football okay but so all these four lines says different types of players okay four kinds of players but i am just glad so just i am very happy who the poet is very happy as glad can be evlo happy a irka mudiyumo that much he is happy because he cannot become a player that is a spectator cannot become a player or a player cannot become a spectator okay i think you can understand let us go to the second stanza let us see the second stanza okay with all my heart i do admire athletes who sweat for fun or hire who take the field in gaudy pomp and maim each other as they romp my limp and bashful spirit feeds on other people's heroic deeds okay so with all my heart i do admire 
so my here refers to the poet's heart that is wholeheartedly i admire so i am i am admired by that is attracted by whom by the athletes who sweat for fun are hired so here who refers to the athletes okay so this sweat sweat means you know what is mean by sweat so when the who sweat for that is who plays okay for fun or hire so fun means so here just imagine if a cricket player is getting inside the what is that getting inside the ground alla bat alla eduthittu bayangara happy ah bayangara enthu va interesting ah he'll be getting inside the cricket ground okay so appa namakku viewers ku eppadi irukum spectators ku eppadi irukum we too will be very much in eager and interestedly we will be waiting to watch the match so they may play for they may sweat that means they may sweat and play for fun or for hire hire means money so you know that um, players will have sponsors players ku sponsors irupanga le like ambani uh, groups and the madri uh, they will have sponsors okay so athletes who sweat for fun or hire so with all my heart that is wholeheartedly i am attracted or am i am appreciating the athletes who are who are playing for fun either for fun or for money okay who take the field in gaudy pomp so here who refers to the athletes okay who again refers to the athletes who take the field in gaudy pomp gaudy pomp means uh, in the showy dress so showy dress means all the players will have different colored dress so that will be really very much attracting to see those colorful uh, sports dresses right so they are playing in the field with a showy dress with a colorful uh, dresses and maim each other as they roam okay and maim each other so here maim means injure okay what does mean by maim injure they injure each other as they romp so what is mean by romp means so as the players are playing eagerly enthusiastically okay so or as the players are playing in a rough manner okay there will be there will be very much uh, noise okay the uh, the game will be rough and also there will be very much noise illaya yeah? so and maim each other as they run so as the players are playing a rough game they injure each other maim each other during the game my limp so here again my refers to the poet my limp and bashful spirit feeds on other people's heroic deeds okay so limp means here weak bashful means shy and reluctant reluctant means hesitating okay shy and reluctant my limp and bashful spirit feeds on other people's heroic deeds so what is the meaning of this is even though the poet is very weak and shy by nature okay so he wants to be just a spectator because he doesn't want to be a player so even though the poet is very weak and even though he he is a shy person and a reluctant hesitating person by nature okay so he is supporting okay so he is feeding that is he is supporting on other people so here other people refers to the athletes okay so he is supporting the athletes heroic deeds so he is a great support to the success of the athletes so he is very supportive to the match played by the athletes so avarala velayada mudiyala appadinalum why because he is weak shy and reluctant by nature so even though he was not interested in playing and even though he was just uh, he wishes to be a spectator he will be always always supporting the heroic performance okay that is the success or the heroic heroic performance of the athletes okay that is what said in this stanza okay so so 
with all my heart so wholeheartedly the poet is attracted or appreciating the athletes who play either for fun or for money so they are playing in the field with showy dresses which attracts the spectators in the audience and they are injuring each other as they are playing the match in a rough manner so even though the poet is very weak and shy and reluctant by nature he is always a great support or he is supportive or he is appreciating the heroic performance the uh, performance of the athletes who are playing in the field okay so this is about the second stanza let us go for the third stanza now a runs 90 yards to score b knocks the champion to the floor cracking vertebrae and spines lashes his steed across the line you'd think my ego it would please to swap positions with one of these okay now a runs 90 yards to score now a player a okay so just instead of telling the name he had named as a and b so a player a he is a runner he has to run how many yards he has to run 90 yards for what to score that is to win next uh, b a player b b knocks the champion so here knocking so here they are talking about running here knocking means it is a boxing match okay so here he is the poet is talking about boxing so b knocks the champion to the floor so what the player b is doing is he has to knock the champion to the floor so b win pananum appadina avaroda opponent he has to beat him then only b can win he, b knocks the champion to the floor cracking vertebrae and spine so what is vertebrae is it is a uh, our backbone okay our bony segmented structure that is called as vertebrae and spines means all the muscles skeletons and the nerves which runs inside the uh, vertebral column is called as spine right so as b is knocking the champion to the uh, floor he is cracking his vertebrae and um, spines okay so cracking what is mean by cracking the sound which we hear while uh, there is a um, there is a breakage okay when they, when a bone breaks or during a enna solradha match nadakkumbodhu and adikira satathile and the and the bone ella break agra madriyana satham that is called as cracking okay cracking vertebrae and the spines so as b is knocking the champion to the floor we can hear the cracking sound of the vertebrae and the spines lashes his steed so this line speaks about the runner these two lines speaks about a boxer next one lashes his steed across the line okay so lashes means beating with a whip whip na enna what is that tamil we call it as enna solluvom the stick there will be a rope in it saatai solluvom illaya that is called as lash okay so lashes his steed steed means a strong horse is called as steed a very uh, large and strong horse is called as steed so this line speaks about a jockey that is a horse rider okay so lashes his steed across the line so another person he will be lashing his steed enna panuvanga um, there will be a rope or, or something like that around the neck of the horse illaya yeah? so they will be pulling it so that the horse will run very fast paathirpinga nenikiren okay so the another player is lashing so whip, uh, so he is whipping his horse okay or he is pulling the lash of the uh, what is that 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 belt like something will be tied around the neck of the horse okay if they are pulling it and they, they are beating it with the whip the horse will be running very fast you might have seen in the horse races okay so another person is lashing his strong horse so that it it will run very fast across the line you would think my ego it would please to swap positions with one of these okay so you would think so we may think though the poet is uh, getting satisfaction by admiring that is by by attracting the 
talents of the athletes he does not like to swap positions with one of this swap means exchange so what does mean by swap exchange so he doesn't want to exchange positions with one of these these means the players that is a runner a boxer a horse rider a football player a hockey player whomever it may in whomever it is okay so he just wants to be a spectator uh, that is he'll be just sitting and enjoying the match or game whatever it is okay he never wants to exchange position ever poi on the ground la play panna he never likes to become a player okay with in, by exchanging positions with any one of this that is with any one of the athlete he just wants to be a spectator okay so a player he is a a he is a runner he has to run 90 yards to win b is a boxer he has to crack the vertebrae and the spines of the champion and knock him to the floor so that he will be winning okay and next one is a jockey that is a horse rider he is lashing his uh, horse very violently so that he could win okay so whatever it is whatever is going on in the ground the ground la enna nadandhalum you would think my ego it would please ennoda ego means here my sense ennoda sense ennoda mind vande whether it will be please means here happy okay so namma poi and edathula velayalla apdi ne mind think pannu ninga nenikireengala no definitely not i would not like to swap that is exchange position with any one of this player okay so this is the third stanza i think you can understand so the in the first is let me have a sum up so in the first is ranza one child grows and becomes a, a horse rider another becomes a basketball player or a hockey player one more person one more child grows up and he hates entering into a boxing ring one likes to become a, a tackle or center that is in, a, in the these are the positions in the football match but the author is just happy that uh, he is not a that that a spectator cannot be a player and a player cannot be a spectator so with the whole heartly he admires the athletes they may be playing either for fun or for money so they are taking the field that is they are going to play in the field with very showy and colorful dresses which attracts the spectators in the audience and they are injuring each other because they are playing the game in a very rough manner my limp and bash was so even though the poet the author is poet is very weak shy and reluctant by nature okay he is a, he is a very supportive person to the heroic performance of the athletes in the fields okay next now a runs 90 yards to score that is a player a who is a runner he has to run 90 yards to win in the match another player b has to knock the opponent uh, uh, that is he has to crack he is cracking the vertebrae and the spines of the opponent so that he can become a winner in the boxing and one more person who is a hockey that jockey that is a horse player he is lashing his horse very violently so that he can win okay so you would think neenga nenikla amma neenga nenikringla my ego it would please so i will be never happy of exchanging any uh, positions with any one of these athletes because why because why tell me the reason why he doesn't want to exchange position because he just wants to be a spectator he never wants to become a player right so in the first stanza they are uh, speaking about different players okay and this is what about stanza 1 2 and 3 so let us see stanza 4 5 and 6 in our next class so in the glossary till what is covered we have covered till so swap exchange and in the quiz and answer part um in the quiz and answer a only a okay so you can prepare till this 
let me let us see the so in the ercc we have covered one only one first one okay so just we cannot expect the book back questions alone alone so prepare all the three stanzas for the for your test let us continue in the next class thank you